and welcome to part 7 of 403 Forbidden's video tutorial on AutoIT scripting. In this tutorial, I'm going to go over how to make your own functions and not just use the ones that are in included with AutoIT. To create your own function, you use the FUNC command, or the FUNC function. After FUNC, you type in the name of your function, what you want it to be. We're going to call it message box function. After that, you put in any parameters that you can add. For now, though, we're not going to do any. So we just do parentheses to the right and to the left. The command to create a function can be anywhere in your script, at the top, at the bottom, in the middle. And where your function is actually called will not matter based on where you create your function. The FUNC command that creates your own functions is the first thing that is looked at before a script is run. So your function will work anywhere in the script, no matter where you create it. After that, you type in what you want to have happen when this function is called. For this, we're just going to do it like this. going to say you called me. You called the message box function. So that is what, gonna hap what is going to happen when we call the message box function. After that, you type an end function. So what we're going to do now is have this function run by simply typing in message box function and the parameters, which are non-existent. So when we run the script, it's not going to run anything that's in this until it reaches this, even though it will reach this at the very beginning of the script. So let's run it. Oh, oh, excuse me. Open it comes. It says, you called me, you called the message box function, just like we told it to right here. We can also add some parameters to the function. The parameters are added by using variables. We're going to go like this. What these are, are they are parameters. Well, we're, we're going to also do one more. These are custom parameters that you add into your script. These variables will only work inside the function. So if you try to call the data that is in param dollar sign $param1 out of the function, it will not work. What we do here is ones that are required, parameters that you have to put in, do not hold a value. They're just dollar sign $parameter1, dollar sign $parameter2, dollar sign $parameter3. If it is not required, you assign it a default value, like parameter 4 is. Dollar sign parameter 4 equals 0. What we can do now is we use these variables to change the function of the message box function within the message box function that we created by going like this. What this does is it creates a message box, the flag being parameter 1, the title be pr being parameter 2, the text being parameter 3, and the timeout be being parameter 4, with, which is defaulted at 0, which means no timeout. We then put these in up at the top. 0, the title, the text, and then the timeout is not necessary. So when we run this, it will set parameter 1 right here to be 0, parameter 2 to be higher, and parameter 3 to be hello, and parameter 4 as 0, because since we did not specify it up here, it will default to 0, which means no timeout. When we run it, 
it does exactly what we want. If we want, we can add the optional parameter here of a timeout, say 5 seconds. So instead of parameter 4 being 0, because 0 is the default, but since we specify that we want it to be 5, it will set it to 5. That will become the timeout for the actual message box function and will run. Let's try it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And closes it does. That is how to create your own function. Now, as you noticed, even though the function is called up here, but declared down at the bottom of the script, it still works, because like I said, AutoIT scans the entire script file to find any of these function commands before it starts running the actual script. Thank you for watching this tutorial by 403 Forbidden of AutoIT. I will see you in the next tutorial.